Dr. Gunjan Jain from Jain Fertility and Mother Care Hospital. Today we are going to discuss a very, very simple but a very common disorder which is called polycystic ovarian disease or syndrome. I am saying it's simple because if one understands the problem, it is simple to deal with. And it is very common, so it is important to talk about it because young girls, young women, women who are in the childbearing age, everybody can suffer from it. So in the younger age group, in the adolescent age group, the girls generally come with problems of acne. They have increased hair growth on the face, which troubles them. They may be obese, they may not be obese, but generally obesity is associated with polycystic ovarian syndrome. And also they start having menstrual irregularities. So when any girl who doesn't get a period for two months, three months, she starts becoming anxious about it. And this is the time when she comes to the doctor because she wants her periods to be regular. She doesn't like the hair on her face. She doesn't want any pimples. She doesn't want acne. So these are the common presentations of a young girl who is, you know, attaining puberty and going into adolescence and suffers from polycystic ovarian disease. Now, when we talk of higher age group, generally the problem is infertility. They may have all these problems, but infertility becomes the presenting problem when they get married and they cannot have children then infertility is the uh, main thing that they come for. Also, inability to reduce weight. They may try all kind of regimes, all kind of diets, they may exercise, everything. Because this syndrome is associated with insulin resistance also. So now if we go very simply and try to classify it, the main symptoms come because of increased androgens, which are male hormones which become excessive in a female. So she has acne, she has hirsutism, there is lack of ovulation, so the patient has infertility and there is insulin resistance which causes obesity. So if we talk about the treatment part, it varies according to the desire or the presenting sy symptom of the patient. Suppose there's a young girl who is just getting irregular periods, then giving her uh, regular hormones or putting her on regular pills sometimes is not required. You can just give her a withdrawal bleed. She can take uh, progesterone or any other withdrawal uh, medicine for withdrawal bleed. And once she has a withdrawal bleed for two months, three months, sometimes the ovarian function becomes normal and she may have periods regularly. Otherwise, she may need this treatment continuously. In a patient who is infertile, she wants to conceive, we must check for ovulation because that's the main problem here. The main problem is that there's no good egg, so she cannot conceive. So giving her fertility drugs helps. And there are so many other things that can be done, but we are talking very basic here about PCOD. The third thing that is the most important thing is obesity. Patients fight obesity like crazy. They cannot lose weight. And this is because of insulin resistance. So what is the main treatment for PCOD? there is no treatment. There is actually no treatment for PCOD. It can just be controlled. And the main thing, the way you can control it is by your lifestyle change. Now, if we look at it, uh, when, when we were very small, we were kids, most of us used to go to school, uh, you know, walking or uh, cycling. There were no school buses generally. People didn't use cars or any other vehicles to go to school. So generally the lifestyle was more, it included more of exercise. Whatever it was, it was a natural way of exercising. There was a PT class in every school. Initially we used to start the, you know, the first period was uh, you run, you walk, you do whatever. But there was a PT lesson. Whenever we come, came back from school, just throw the bags and, you know, go and start playing outside. So there was a lot of activity which has actually gone down. Uh, children, uh, it's just a change. It's not blaming the kids, but they're more on computers, they're more on their phones. So they're mostly sitting, they're doing their work. So we have to promote, you know, a little exercise has to be included right from the childhood age. This is something which is going to control PCOS. This is going to uh, take care of the symptoms to a very, very large extent. Then comes the food. Now food, if we talk about food, the maximum that we could go through is samosas or parathas, you know, that was the most junk that we could eat. But now it's more of, you know, maida, pasta, P 
pizza, burgers, chocolates, you know, all kind of food that we should not be eating is uh, the daily routine that we are following. So once we change the lifestyle, once we look into how we live, how we exercise on a daily basis, what kind of food we eat, you know, I always tell my patients, just look at your plate, you know, when you are eating, you, you have everything put down in your plate, you look at your plate, you will know exactly what wrong you are eating. If you start, you know, you park your vehicle a mile away from your office or whatever place you are going to and just walk down that one mile, when you bring it into this, into a daily lifestyle change, it is going to make your PCOD better because, you know, you can just compare it. It is not diabetes, but you can compare it to a patient because diabetes is a very, very known disease. Everyone knows about diabetes. So in case somebody has diabetes, what do we tell them? Take care of your food, exercise, don't eat junk. And also we tell them that it will never be cured. You can only control it. Similarly, PCOS has no cure. You can control it. And the mainstay of the treatment in PCO is a lifestyle change. And I'm, uh, you know, emphasizing so much on it because actually you can, 80% is just a lifestyle change and 20% is all the medication that your doctor gives you. So make sure that your lifestyle change in a more healthy, in a more positive way comes and you will definitely benefit and PCOD will not bother you so much. Um, we have our Facebook page. So if you have any questions regarding PCO, you can always put it in the comment box. Thank you so much.